How's it going everybody? Today is the first day of San Diego Comic Con. Things are in full motion now and one of the first things that we've gotten is the trailer for Titans. I'll be covering Comic Con all weekend so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on everything that's happening. Who are you? Everything led me here. To you. You're the boy from the circus. You got no place to hide. And I'm feeling like a villain got a hunger inside. Nowhere to hide from all of this. Please. Can you help me? Where's Batman? Fuck Batman. There's something evil inside of me. You're scared. I get it. But you can control it. You don't know what I've become. <laughs> Sometimes, when I feel the darkness, it feels good. My mom says there's no such thing as monsters. I used to think that. I was wrong. There are a lot of things to talk about with this trailer and the first thing is the tone. It's very dark. There is a lot of blood, there's some f-bombs being thrown around, there's a lot of horror aspects to it. it, it's dark. It's easy to see why DC is launching their own streaming service because it's not censored, it's not regulated, you can't get away with dropping the f-bomb on the CW. The first scene sets up this dark and ominous tone for the rest of the trailer and the series. It starts off with a vision that Raven has of a circus, which when she goes inside, she sees a sign that says the Flying Graysons. This is obviously going to be a little bit of a backstory of how Robin came to be and how his parents died. Then you have Raven going into the police office where she finds Robin and asks him for help. Now, they don't clearly state this, but it's pretty obvious what's going on here, and that is that we have Detective Grayson. So it seems like what is happening here is that we have Chuck Dixon's storyline of Nightwing. That's when Robin leaves Batman and attempts to find himself and create his own destiny. And that clearly seems like it's the case. You have Robin holding his R and he throws it at the wall very, very angrily. And then you have the next scene where he takes on a group of bad guys and they ask, where's Batman? Then he drops the F-bomb about Batman, clearly stating that he has nothing to do with him anymore. Then we get a glimpse of each of the Titans' individual powers, which we haven't seen before. We've only seen like pictures of them walking around, so it's nice to finally see how this is playing out on screen. As you see these characters, it's important to keep in mind what Jeff John said about them. He said that Rachel, who is the character Raven, is the door to horror and the supernatural. Starfire is the doorway to sci-fi. Beast Boy is the doorway to the Doom Patrol. And Robin is the doorway to the vigilantes in the DC Universe. Now it looks like Raven is only just starting to kind of discover her powers and in a few scenes we see her basically lose control and that's probably Trigon taking over her mind. Trigon is a demon who impregnated her mother, so yes, he's her father. And he wants to enter this world and the way that he does that is through Raven. Now it doesn't look like they're doing the jewel on the head thing, but if you take a look at some of these photos, she's wearing a necklace, so maybe that's how they do it. It seems like the first episode will probably be about Raven and her mother running away from Brother Blood who works for Trigon. And that's where she goes to Robin and asks him for help. Now, they said that season one is primarily about Robin and Raven. It's also been said that the first episode will be Robin, Raven, and Starfire, and Beast Boy won't actually run into them yet. So I'm curious to see how they introduce Starfire and Beast Boy to Robin and Raven. When they first all meet and start together, they won't be the Titans yet, but by the end of season one, they will be. 
We hear Raven say, there's something evil inside of me, which is obviously her father Trigon. And then Robin says, you're scared, I get it, but you can control it. So it's clearly setting up the dynamic between Raven and Robin. And then in the next scene, we see Starfire just roast some guys. So it's nice to see how her powers actually work on screen. Her hair even lights up too, it's really cool. Unfortunately, Beast Boy doesn't get too much time in this trailer, but again, it's probably because he doesn't meet up with Robin, Raven, and Starfire until a little bit later on. We hear Robin talking to somebody where he says, you have no idea what I've become. And here's what Jeff Johns had to say about Robin in Titans. He said that he feels like he's been made into a weapon and he's trying to get away from fighting crime, but things draw him back in. He's clearly talking about when he fought with Batman. And this does go along with the story of Nightwing, where he leaves Batman. So it seems like Raven sort of draws him back into everything by asking for help, along with the other Titans as well, and eventually throughout this series, he'll probably take on the mantle of Nightwing. The rest of the trailer is just filled with action. It's gruesome, it's graphic, it's dark. We even see a little cameo for Hawk and Dove as well, and they seem to be pretty gruesome too. It's just really cool to see all of this finally come together on screen. It makes me really excited for the DC streaming service that is coming out and really excited to see Titans when it comes out. So hit me with your thoughts in the comments below, all of your initial reactions, everything. I want to hear it. Hit that like button before you leave and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with everything that is happening at Comic-Con. Thanks for watching. Woof woof.